What is butyrate? Can it help people lose weight and heal their gut? Well, hi everyone. Welcome back. This week, last week, one of my viewers, Jason, asked me to weigh in a little bit on a substance called butyrate. So this week, let's have a butyrate 101 lecture summarizing the benefits, risk. And the latest scientific literatures on butyrate, and should we consider getting more butyrate? Let's find out. Let's first have a quick overview of what butyrate is. Butyrate is a short-chain fatty acid produced by gut bacteria during the fermentation of non-digestible dietary fiber. After gut bacteria generate butyrate or consume butyrate-rich food, it is quickly absorbed in the gut and acts as an energy source and a signaling molecule in colon cells and cells beyond the GI system. So what kind of food is rich in butyrate? Milk and milk products, particularly those with animal fat, are rich in butyrate. For example, there are about 3 grams of butyrate in 100 grams of butter. Goat cheese, parmesan, and whole cow's milk all have butyrate ranging from about 0.01 grams to about 2 grams per 100 gram of the food. To give you a real food perspective, an 8 ounce glass of whole milk has about 0.25 grams of butyrate, which is equivalent to about half a tablespoon of butter. While fruits and vegetables do not contain butyrate, they are high in dietary fibers that can be fermented by gut bacteria to produce butyrate. So what are the known benefits of butyrate? Whether butyrate is ingested through the diet or produced locally in the intestine from dietary fiber, it is absorbed into the intestinal cells or enterocytes by diffusion and delivered through the portal vein to the liver and systemic circulation throughout the body. One of the key benefits of butyrate is its ability to improve gut health. It helps nourish the cells lining the gut and has anti-inflammatory effects that can reduce inflammation and improve gut barrier function. Butyrate may also help to regulate the composition of the gut microbiome, promoting the growth of beneficial bacteria and suppressing the growth of harmful bacteria. Several small randomized clinical trials studied sodium butyrate supplements' effect on diabetes patients and patients with metabolic syndromes. The results, however, are mixed. Let's look at several studies. A randomized controlled trial with 42 type 2 diabetes patients who were given 3.6 grams of sodium butyrate for 6 weeks showed a decrease in blood pressure and a slight but non-significant reduction in blood sugar two hours after meals. However, a similar study was done on type 1 diabetes, which is an autoimmune disorder, and did not show any benefits from the sodium butyrate supplement. When a study was done in adult patients with metabolic syndrome, sodium butyrate decreased HbA1c, which is a three-month marker for blood sugar, total cholesterol, and triglycerides but it did not affect BMI or body mass index and fasting blood sugar levels. On the other hand, children with obesity who were given 20 mg per kilogram per day of sodium butyrate for 6 months in a randomized controlled trial showed a decrease in waist circumference and body mass index. Let's look at one of the latest studies on butyrate supplement. A newer randomized controlled trial testing the therapeutic effects of butyrate on children with obesity was published in December 2022 in the JAMA Journal. The study showed that oral butyrate supplements may be effective in treating children's obesity. The trial included patients aged 5 to 17 in Naples, Italy. All the patients had a body mass index greater than the 95th percentile. The patients were given 20 mg per kilogram per day of sodium butyrate for 6 months with a maximum of 800 mg daily. The control group was given cornstarch capsules alongside standard care. 
Now, notice that the standard care consists of a balanced Mediterranean diet and at least one hour of aerobic activity per day. At the end of the study, more children in the butyrate group saw a reduction in BMI as these scores equal to or greater than 0.25 than the control group. Side effects such as nausea and headache were only reported by two patients and had happened during the first month of the trial. My assessment of this study is that butyrate alone may not have significant effect to help lose weight, but when it is combined with proper diet and exercise, it can possibly boost the weight loss effect. So how safe is butyrate and what is the recommended daily dose? While butyrate is generally considered safe and well tolerated, it may cause side effects in some people. These can include a gastrointestinal discomfort such as abdominal pain, bloating, or diarrhea. According to a pharmacological and clinical literature review, the current butyrate standard dose of 150 to 300 milligrams has shown no clinical side effects. Some reports argue that a higher dose may be needed to have a clinical benefit when the intestine has damage or inflammation. According to a toxicology report, butyrate doses up to 2,000 mg per day shows no adverse reactions. So what to pay attention to if you want to boost your butyrate level? People without chronic gut problems can usually safely boost butyrate levels with a gradual increase in fiber and supplement intake. It can help ease the discomfort. But for people with chronic gut problems, such as irritable bowel syndrome or IBS, or inflammatory bowel diseases including ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, usually you call them IBD, increasing butyrate levels may or may not help to improve symptoms. For example, a randomized controlled trial published in 2013 showed that micro-encapsulated sodium butyrate supplements for up to 12 weeks could reduce the frequency of abdominal pain in IBS patients without a significant reduction in the symptom severity. In a different randomized controlled trial published in 2020, sodium butyrate supplement increased the growth of gut bacteria and the level of butyrate production in patients with inflammatory bowel diseases, but it did not show benefit in improving disease symptoms. The latest systematic review of randomized controlled trials of butyrate use in IBD patients published in 2021 showed that butyrate enemas did not help the condition. The bottom line is that butyrate is generally considered safe, and most people can get a good amount of butyrate from a balanced diet of fruit, vegetable, and animal dairy products. But if you want to boost your butyrate level with a high-fiber diet or a supplementation, it may cause unwanted side effects, such as gas and bloating, and it is more so in patients with bowel conditions. So gradually increase the fiber intake or supplement dose is probably the better way to reduce that side effects. But again, if you have chronic conditions and are on medications, it is important for you to talk to your healthcare providers first before starting on any supplementations because it may affect how the drugs work. That is all for this week. Now, I do take a viewer's video request if that is not a topic that is way above my level. I'm also moving into content with more of a general health focus. If that is still something interests you, I hope to see you again next week. So thank you very much for watching and eat healthy, stay healthy, take good care. Bye.